YouTube, this is Suicide Trends, aka MJ5, aka LucJM. <coughs> I'm back here at Asbury Park to check out what's been updated at the uh, Silver Bowl Pinball Museum, which of course is mostly a museum that focuses on pinball, but they also have like classic arcade games and the like. So, we're just gonna get started on checking out what type of games they got and see if it's a good recommendation or not. I think we should start um, from, the, from here. I'm going to do it quick, so um, be sure. We got 8-Ball 1977 that came out. 8-Ball Deluxe, which is an improvement of 8-Ball 1982. We have uh, Power Play 1978. Genie 1979. Then we have here uh, a Gottlieb Roller Disco, 1980. Most of the games are like Gottlieb, Bally, or any other, or Jersey Jag, which is the recents. Then we have Williams, uh, 1959's uh, Space Glider. Most likely a shooter, because you see the uh, rifle here. It's kind of fun. You see the targets there too. Uh, I think you can see the targets, I can't tell. Moving on to the arcades, we have um, Centipede 1980, which they have an upgraded version of an arcade version. I've seen in a couple of tier areas as well. Then we have uh, Super Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong 1981, Mario Brothers 1985, Centipede 1980, Donkey Kong Jr. 1982, 1980's Pac Man. Then uh, 1981's uh, Miss Pac-Man. Galaxian, 1979. Galaga, 1981. Then we have Fargo, 1981. Missile Command, 1980. Then we move on to the uh, new newly installed uh, big screen pinballs from Jersey Jack himself. And has a really interesting collection from 1913 to Wizard of Oz, the one that started it all. Then we have the Hobbits, 1916, 2016. Dialed in, 2016. Pirates of the Caribbean, 2018. And now a newly recent one, uh, Wonka, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, 2019. Kind of like all the LED stuff here and the screens. This is like how pinball has evolved, went from being like an old, old school type of pinball numbers and stuff to like this, this type of thing. Pretty fun when you think about it. Here we have a mini golf 1961, 1964 from Williams. Mini golf course. Gemini from Gottlieb 1978. Another one from Charles Angels, Gottlieb. Gottlieb, yep, 1979. We have New York 1976, which basically celebrated the one. The, I believe it was the uh, 200 year centennial. I don't know if we're gonna survive that long enough to see it not see 300. But hey, it's kind of cool. Then we have Evil Knievel 1977. Oh, let me see this. Pinball Wizard 1975. Then we have Captain Fantastique starring Elton John. 1976, which, by the way, they have the uh, movie that came out a long time ago. I don't know if you guys seen it or not, the uh, Rocket Man movie. Might be interesting to take a look, but uh, it's kind of mostly musical. So we got, then we have Silver Ball Mania. Kind of fitting, but being that this is Silver Ball Museum. 1978 from Valley. Now 
we go on to the good ones. We have Williams Funhouse from 1990. The next to it, Roadshow, 1994. Both having the uh, comical faces. Then we got Junkyard, 1996. Twilight Zone 1993, my own personal favorite. Then we have White Whitefall 1993. Doctor Who 1992. Cactus Canyon 1998. Scared Stiff from Valley, 1996. Star Trek The Next Generation, 1993. Then we have the uh, World Cup Soccer from 1984 that featured that infamous uh, dog. Kind of crazy. Indiana Jones Pinball Machine, which I already watched three, all three movies from Netflix. Gonna be watching the fourth one. Rewatching anyway, saw it in the actual theater. I mean, all the movies were good, though it's kind of weird in a way. 1993 from Williams that came out. So we have Attack from Mars, 1995. Theater of Magic, 1995 as well. Then we have the Adams Family Pinball, which by the time this recording, the movie just came out. Uh, I'm not watch it, I don't know. It seems a little weird for my tastes, but mm, I kind of like, like the original movies in a way. Especially the old school cartoons. Never get tired of that one. That's from This one from Valley came out in 1994. Then we have Cyclone from, from Williams, 1988. Well, we're in 1990 from uh, Williams. Then we got the Banzai Run, 1988 from Williams, which is mostly a pinball slash pachinko machine by the looks of it. Definitely has a type of feel to it with the two uh, pinball tracks. We go down to a few more shooters. We got the uh, sniper from Williams, 1972. See the uh, guns and stuff. Same goes with sharpshooter from 1971. Then we have a little bit of a Super Chex hockey game. I'm going to show you the year, but you know this is like a foosball hockey table. We got some from, from Bali, 1981. Then we got Z Xenon from Bali, 1980. Then we got the ever infamous and classic Kiss Pinball Machine from Bali, 1979. Now they have two of these pinball machines. One, this, old, this one old school, this one new. Then we have Bally's Playboy, 1978. And the next one we have uh, Fathom from 1980. Never seen this one before, but it looks kind of unique. Check out some more um, mini arcades. We have a Tetris from, from Atari of 1988. Then we got, well, this is interesting. We have Street Fighter 2 Turbo Edition, 1991. I didn't expect this at all. Then we have Ninja Gun, 1972. Canada Drive from Gottlieb, 1977. Top Short, 1975. Then we got the Eye of the Tiger, not the Rocky one, but more of a interesting one. 
it's a meat. And of course they have Close Encounters of the Third Kind. A rare game by the looks of it. That came out from Gottlieb, 1978. Oh, this is interesting. They usually have a teacup right down here. I never thought they would have something like this. Then we have a Friendship 7 from Williams, 1962. Then Rocket, 1959. These are like the old, old school games, right? You don't have much bumpers or anything. We got Hayburner, which is mostly racing pinball combination from Williams, 1951. Then we got the elusive knockout from Gottlieb, 1950. And we got 1963's Midway Champ, which is racing in pinball. And then we have the uh, we have United Superstar Slugger from 1955. Mostly baseball. We got Williams Crane Game from 1956. It has a literal crane by the looks of it. And of course, I think simply without Pong from Atari of 1972, but it looks like it's seen better days by the looks of it. Then we go down to the Millipede from Atari 1982. We got Strikes and Spares, 1995, from Gottlieb. And we got, in, got in a rare run here called Jokers from Williams, 1988. I gotta say, they, they keep updating these pinball machines. Sometimes you don't, sometimes you know that some are there, sometimes you don't. Then we have Williams Pinbot, the very classic, from, that released in 1986. And of course they have a slugfest from uh, Williams, 1991. And of course a bit of air hockey for some uh, for those who like to have a good time. <laughs> then we got another one here from, called Fire from Williams, 1987. Then we got uh, Pool Sharks from Valley, 1990. Then the ever classic Black Knight from Williams that came out in 1980. Now I gotta forgive me for if I'm trying to be quick about these things. I just want to get through with all of it. I don't want to get into the small details. Then Williams Flash that came out in 1979. Then we got Atari's Battle Zone like, from 1980 with the uh, ever elusive um, scope right down there. Then we got a long line of uh, mo model ski balls that came out in 1992. Well, this one came from 92. This one I think looks like 1990s, 1970s or anything. I can't tell how long it was. Then we got Gorf from Midway, 1981. And next to that, we have uh, United Supreme Bowling. I can't find the year though, but by the looks of it, I say in the 1970s. Don't know much yet. And then we have uh, Safe Cracker from, from Bali, 1996. Then we got Revenge from Mars in 3D. They came out in 99, 1999, one of the two uh, virtual pinball games right here. Then we have Baseball Champ, another top fan thing from 1973. Time Pilot from Centauri, 1982. And then they got a Mappy here. That's interesting. From Valley Midway, 1983. Impressive. I never thought that they have a Mappy right down there. And over here we have another Williams Deluxe Official Baseball Game. 
um, by the looks of it, 1960. And of course, we got a jukebox here, 1957. I don't think it plays music, but we really don't know. I think it's time we wrap this up. Again, apologies if I'm making these walkthroughs quick. I'm gonna show off all the stuff here. Okay, here we have uh, from Atlantis from Gottlieb, 1975. We got uh, Papa Card, 1972, mostly Gottlieb's by the looks of it. And then we got uh, TKO, 1979. El Dorado, 1975. Pin Up, 1975. Dimension, 1971, which is a rare game as well. Sorry about that. Then we have uh, Centigrade 1937, 1977. Captain Guard 1974. Rockstar 1978, another game. Slick Chick. 1963 Subway 1966 Square Head 1963 Melody 1966 Then we have the World Fair 1964 Next to that, Kings and Queens, 1965. Flipper Cowboy, 1962. Then we move on to more arcade games like Pulp Fiction 2, that came out from Namco, 1983. Astro, 1979. From Atari, 1979. We got Defender from Williams, 1980. And we got this one, this is a Tron from uh, Batman Midway, 1983. I never thought they would have a Tron game here. I wish they have an original Tron though. It would have been much more interesting to check out. And of course we have the elusive Simpsons game from Konami, 1991. And we got more um, bait. Falling stuff here. This one's called Shuffle In from Williams, 1983. Then we have Breakout from Atari. Well, Super Breakout, 1978. We have a multi here that has all of the 80s video games in one machine. Looks like they're playing Miss Pac Man by the looks of it. Then we have um, Valley's um, Mata Hari. From came out 1978. Then we have Fireball, 1972 from Valley with the spinner right down there. Space Mission from Williams, 1976. Circus Body from uh, from Valley, 1997. We got Terminator 2 Judgment Day, 91 from Williams, which the uh, new Terminator movie is coming out by the time of this recording. I don't know if I want to watch it. I mean, they seem to be going overboard with the uh, Terminator movies, but you know what? I don't know. I don't have a problem with this by the looks of it. Another good classic, Medieval Madness from Williams, 1997. Then we have The Shadow, 1994 from Valley. Then there's Demolition Man from uh, Williams, 1984. Then we move on to more Gottlieb stuff. We have uh, Joker Poker that came out in 1978. And then we have uh, Royal Flush in 1976. Good game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, true, true. Then we have the Dancing Lady. That came out in 1966 with the uh, little ballerina inside there. 
And then we go to I Pleasure Island from 1965, a rare game. Then Big Brave, 1974. Jumping Jack, 1973. Beat Time from the Beat, starring the Beatles, 1976, which uh, which I did a video of the new Beatles pinball that has these same type of reference. Kind of cool. Then we have Hit the Deck, 1978. And last but not least, Gottlieb's Top Card from 1974 from, from Gottlieb. And I think that will do it for the tour. Though I gotta admit, they, they managed to update this the last time I was here. That was two years ago. And gotta admit, they have more stuff all over the place. My, again, a good recommendation for anyone who is into this pinball stuff. If you're in the New Jersey area, or in the it's down the piers, head down to Asbury Park. You might be surprised at the type of games that they got around here. So that's it for the tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you all next time. Hashtag Where the Good Cartoons.